Last night I was lucky enough to see an advanced screening of a new Australian film called The Daughter, which is the directorial debut of Simon Stone. It stars Geoffrey Rush, Sam Neill, Paul Schneider, Miranda Otto, Anna Torv, Ewan Leslie, and newcomer Odessa Young. The advanced screening I saw was also followed by a Q&A with uh, producer Jan Chapman. The film is loosely based on Henrik Ibsen's play The Wild Duck. Set in Tasmania in a logging town, Christian, Paul Schneider from Parks and Recreation, returns home for his father Henry's wedding. He's played by Geoffrey Rush. Uh, he's marrying his housekeeper, played by Anna Torv from Fringe. He runs into his childhood friend Oliver, played by Ewan Leslie, who now has a family with wife Charlotte, uh, played by Miranda Otto, and daughter Hedvig, played by Odessa Young. Interestingly, behind closed doors, Christian's marriage is falling apart, just as his father's second marriage is beginning, and both Christian and Oliver's families are connected through their pasts, and during the week of the wedding, secrets are going to surface and everything will change. The scenes and the dialogue overlap throughout the film and tension increases and the camera moves more and more erratically. Uh, there is a tracking shot following you and Leslie in one scene that had me holding my breath. It was very tense. Uh, the film's tension is done perfectly and uh, it's a very com complex film, uh, relying on the ensemble cast to bring it to life. You can see how it used to be a play. The standout performances for me were from newcomer Odessa Young, who was 16 at the time of filming. She is definitely going to be one to watch. And Ewan Leslie was very surprisingly amazing. Uh, he plays the father of uh, her character. Some of their scenes together brought me to tears. It was fantastic. Um, all the adult characters in this film have baggage, and the film is all about their consequences. And uh, book ended with gunshots at either side. Simon Stone, who is 31, uh, is the film's director, and he's based in Switzerland. And producer Jan Chapman told us uh, she's also produced The Piano and Lantana, for those that are interested. Uh, she told us he's very hard to wrangle, you know, and it sounds like he's booked for about three years with theatre after this film. You know, perhaps we'll be treated to a Simon Stone film every decade or so, like early Terence Malick. Um... Chapman referred to the film as a memory film where the characters have individual memories of the events and differing interpretations which explains the overlapping of scenes and dialogue. Uh, most people who watch the film have a very visceral reaction to it and it's a real treat and phenomenally adapted for the screen. In an interview for The Australian, uh, Stone said, there's still a duck and there's still this kid who's shocked and overwhelmed by revelations in her family. There's still a struggle for a couple to stay together in an incredibly difficult time. The core of the story is still Henrik Ibsen's. Anna Torv, who I love, is criminally underused, but it is great to see her up on the screen again. Sam Neill and Jeffrey Rush both give very measured performances, and Paul Schneider is surprisingly good, coming from a comedic background. I only knew him from Parks and Rec and uh, despite the American accent, which is explained by his character. The cinematography is haunting in parts. The film manages to squeeze in alcoholism, themes of suicide, family, affairs, innocence, incarceration, money, marriage, and of course, love. The film ends leaving you thinking about it for days to come. The tagline, keep your family close and your secrets closer, applies perfectly here. Uh, the film is in cinemas in Australia on March 17th. Yeah, yeah, oh. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe button. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Check out our podcast at www.podmeifyoucan.com.